net zero is the required amount because obviously if you produce emissions but then sequestrate them or more than the emissions that you're producing, uh, that's acceptable for the climate. That is still taking the, the greenhouse gas emissions out of the atmosphere. So net zero is the ultimate goal. Uh, the text at the moment doesn't have all the options, uh, including the word decarbonisation. Now decarbonisation is a good word because it is it means in the end phasing out altogether, but it also means some progressive reduction. But on the other hand, it only re refers to one greenhouse gas, which is carbon, and the convention covers lots of greenhouse gases. So there are still big arguments over what kind of language might satisfy uh, different countries and whether countries can live with this commitment into the, into the long term. It's regarded as so important because it sets the trajectory for investors and businesses. And this, in many ways, is what the agreement is designed to do. It's designed to tell the actors in the real economy look, the global economy is only going in one direction now. We are going to progressively take carbon and other greenhouse gases out of our economies. And that sends a really good investment signal, which is why people feel it's so important.